Hey everyone, this is Mo again. Today is another day. We are doing this fiber drop to one of the mobile homes for internet service. So we trench our way all the way to the main feed, which is right here close to the fence. So this is what we're going to be doing today. My compactor is here the D4500 and we're gonna get that cable make sure it is in at least 8 10 inches whatever cover it up and then we'll do the splicing and then the Jeep on install and that's it very simple and very easy all right let's get going alrighty step number two PVC in case they decide to cut the grass and cut my wires. And here is the fiber single strand that is going to get buried. And I need gloves to push the cable inside a little bit. The ground is soft in here, so it's kind of a little bit tricky. And yep, let's get the next one going. Now we're going to push the cable in and bury it nice and neat. All right, everything has been buried. Nice and clean. Ground is back the way it was. We cannot even see where the cut was. Okay. So this is our fiber cable coming out of there. Looks like it's gonna rain, so I gotta hurry up. I'm gonna run it all the way here. Still have to tie this one up a bit, and then this is where the box is going to be. Eventually, this is where the jeep on is going to settle. So, all right, it's drizzling now. Hope it's not going to rain for quite a bit. If it rain, that's fine. We we'll pick up. We we'll wait and just stop. We we'll come back. That's what it is. Already, box is set. Now again, the Jeep one is going to set on here. We're going to splice this one and see the power. Decide if we need attenuator here or not. And just move to the next one. I mean, not the next Jeep on the next step. All right, well, Jeep on is ready again. Cable is routed. Just gonna put a zip tie in here and zip tie in here in case this cable pulled, but I know it's not gonna pull because I already put a zip tie in here and I put a zip tie in the other end too. But it's just to, to add more strength to it. While this is set, I'm gonna go to the distribution panel and hook this line up. Alright, back in here to the this section of the Sorby Park which is we're going to add a connection to this one so this is kind of getting tougher and tougher to pull it out I don't know why all right so I believe this is the cable that I'm looking for all right so I just gonna have to give it a little bit more slack splice it like this touch it maybe in here and get the connector rolled up to the, this opening, bring it up from the other side and attach it. It's very simple, it's just common sense. Alright, let me get all the tools and whatever I need ready. And we'll go from there. The goal is two to three G pounds a day. That's not just installing the wires or installing the G pound or configuring. That's a whole setup for every single G pound. It means from running the cable. From the main panel all the way dressing it to the location installing the jeep on the box splice there splice here test the power put the right um, attenuator if needed which i don't think i'm going to need attenuator for this one but we'll see and then test everything make sure everything is work internet is there do the ethernet cable if the client is there if not just pass the cable to the inside and terminate it whenever they're ready. Yep, 
All right, let's get this done. All right, done deal. Start drizzling. So that's the department that we just hooked up right now. Now we're gonna go on the other side, test the power, and we should be done. I know it's kind of a so much process into it, but it's one man crew. That's how it works. All right, splice is done. Let's now do the real test. And this is, has to be done every time. And then keeping record of it is very important because you want to always track and see if the signal is still as it was at the beginning. Then you can catch anything earlier before it happened. So, just put one end there. Plug this and put it in the other end as we see here. Okay. And I don't think we're going to need an attenuator for this one. Let's see. So we are almost at 15. Perfect. There is no need for an attenuator right here, as I thought. So now, well, I know my OLT will show maybe minus 13, minus 12, which is still okay. As long as I am lower than minus 8, I should be really good. Lower in the negative side, not on the positive side. All right. I think I'm gonna go take lunch and then I'll be back to get the Jeep on ready. All right, the last phase of the setup. Jeep on is plugged in, brand new, never been put into service before. Plugged into the PoE, from the PoE to my computer right here. And this is my computer. I'm plugging in the Ethernet cable and I'm gonna wait and see. There we go. Automatically. Samsung. It worked as intended. Every time anyone plug into a brand new Jeep on, or even if they put their own Jeep on, if they know how, this is all they're gonna get. There's no internet in here. Like we said before, this page is being broadcasted from our main router to every new connection, giving them information who to call and who to email if they want the service. That's great. Now let's set it up to the proper VLAN and then we'll go from there. All right, once we're done with this, we're gonna do a speed test and make sure that everything is working fine. And there we go. This client sign up for a 500 up and 500 down. So it's right there. A little bit extra in case they need it, but here you go, 538, 489, and 8 millisecond pings. We're rolling it, so we're just waiting for a client to send up for one gig up and one gig down. No one is there yet, but well, we're thinking about putting the 2.5, the 5 gig in service. It all depends. If it is a demand, we can make it happen. All right, so this is it for today. Not for today, I mean for this install. Next one, I will make a video of it too because it's kind of tricky a bit. So we'll see you in the next one.